goodness, look at that. <laughs> Raising chickens can be a really fun addition to your family. And here with tips from her book, 101 Chicken Keeping Hacks, is fifth generation chicken keeper, Lisa Steele. Welcome, Hello, Lisa. Lisa. I don't want to clap because I don't want to scare don't the, yeah. the chicken. Don't scare the chicken. But hey guys. these guys here, these ladies, I should say, are just adorable. And Goldie that you are holding is just as sweet as could be. Now, I know it's very important for you to teach people the joys of raising their own chickens. So besides the fresh eggs, what do you think are some of the benefits to having chickens in your backyard? Chickens, they're actually the fourth most popular pet in the country now. Really? Yeah, they've climbed the ranks. I mean, We're that... not sure what number three is. We know cats, dogs. Yeah, um, well listen, chickens pig, are number maybe? four. Yeah. I didn't even know they were in the top 10. I don't mean to <laughs> That's amazing. They're, they really are good. Um, they lower your blood pressure. It's really relaxing to watch them scratch around. They also provide a lot of manure for the garden. Oh, yeah. interesting. So mm -hmm. it's good for your vegetables and, and your fruit. Yes. And, and then of course, fresh eggs. Right. right. Forget about fresh eggs. I mean, that's a big reason for sure right there. And I know, uh, I mean, there's the taste difference between store-bought and fresh eggs. Fresh. Sure. Right. You can actually visually see quite a difference too, can't you? You can. I mean, I could do a, a you know, which is your egg, which is a store-bought egg. The fresh ones are much more orange yolk. The white is that. thicker. All right, uh, so yeah. you tell us which okay. is which. Well, which do you think? I which mean, is the fresh egg? The bright the orange one. <laughs> the rich orange are definitely the fresh ones. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So they're just packed with more nutrients, They are. So when you see the different colored eggs, like the brown, the white, the blue, there really isn't any difference inside of the egg, it's just the color of the egg. Exactly, same nutritionally, same taste, same inside. It's just a different color, different breeds, lay different color eggs. And how many breeds of chicken are there? Over a hundred. You're really? kidding me. No, yeah. Now, it's the, the reason that the eggs, the fresh eggs, taste so good, is it because of what the chicken is eating, or is it Well, because, because it's fresh, like... because it's fresh, yeah. Any okay. fresh food is gonna taste better, but also what they're eating. They're eating bugs and grass, and you know, if they're in your backyard, they're probably eating lizards and the occasional There's... toad or snake or whatever. Versus grain, is that the idea? Just grain. Oh, okay. From a commercially raised chicken. So oh, you said there's awesome. over 120 different breeds of chickens. Um, does one chicken's egg taste any better than the other chicken's egg if it's all being if all chickens are being fed the same? Yeah, no, it's what it's their diet and then how fresh the egg is. It is there. Oh my gosh. We were talking about this a little bit earlier, too. You have to clear something up. I was a little bit curious because I thought maybe you brought us roosters. No, the, yeah, I thought no, that, you know, these they got the little, you know, what are we These are all about? girls. These are all girls. And so I, I thought it was only roosters that had, how do these, yeah. what do we call these and how do they function? Oh, so, so this is the rooster's comb. It functions like a radiator, so it's actually letting her body heat out. So this is how they expel the body heat. So you have um, heat tolerant breeds, some of the Mediterranean breeds right. yeah. tend to have the larger combs because it's warmer in where the places they live. So they're called rooster's combs, but they are on chickens. And I will tell you what, Cameron. It's okay that I was confused the, then. I have to be 100%. <laughs> I grew up every summer in Greece and every chicken, you said Mediterranean, every chicken in Greece looks like this. And when I'd always be confused and be like, is that a silly question? What am I gonna ask? Because they all look like roosters. They're calling them but, chickens. <laughs> but they're really roosters. But no, so the rooster of this okay. breed would just have a bigger Have one. a much larger comb okay. and usually a bigger tail and they might be a different, like some green or different pretty colors. The males usually are prettier. Okay. Okay. Almost like a peacock. Yes, exactly, right. So in your book, you have some of cost-effective ways for people who may want to be chicken keepers. Yeah. Tell us about right. that, because it doesn't have to be a big expensive it, thing. It really doesn't. Once you set up your coop and, and get your chickens, um, there's all kinds of commercial products, and obviously, I think there's a commercial waterer down there, but you can use an egg carton for your baby chicks to eat their feed right. out of. Yep. yep. And when it gets you know dirty or whatever, you just throw it out and, and start again with a new one. Um, and then in my book, I have some ideas like making a little breakfast tray out of a, a piece of wood so you can you know, deliver the eggs and toast in the morning. Oh. And then I make sprays out of vinegar and some herbs and citrus peels so to clean the coop. You, know, you don't oh, want to use chemicals, so right. you don't want to use bleach or anything. So you just put some in vinegar, and they're great for cleaning your house, too, or your bathroom. When you say a coop, how big does our coop have to be? What if you don't have tons of space? Yeah. So you don't need. So for these three chickens, something the size of a doghouse. That's it? That's yep. it, huh? Mm -hmm. And but of course, we should say also that you've got to make sure that you're allowed to have uh, chickens, yes. and you have to sort of zone differently. I know where I live, you are absolutely allowed to have chickens because our neighbors do have some chickens. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look. Those are the baby chicks eating out of their cardboard container. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's a good idea to check because just because you live in an urban area, 
doesn't mean you can't have chickens. Right. Gotcha. Now, are there certain breeds that are better than others when you want to start your chicken family? I, I don't know. <laughs> Is that what I'm calling? Yeah, your chicken My, family. Your flock. Your flock. Your flock. There you go. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know better, but some are, are calmer, like the Buff Orpington, which looks sort of like this chicken. Um, they're, they're good if you have kids because they're gentler and calmer, and some of the breeds are a little more crazy. Okay. Oh, so it's right. good to do some research. And how many should you start with, you know, if I wanted to start a flock up in, uh, in my area? What would, what would I start with, like three? I would say a minimum of three, five okay. or six is better. I mean, can, I just want you to picture Vanessa's reaction mm -hmm. if I said, guess what, I, uh, honey, I'm coming home tonight with three ki chickens. We're starting a flock. Well, you have been fostering dogs. So I mean, I'm just saying. Chickens these By days. the way, I say that, but it would be so fantastic. I think the kids would love it. A sense of responsibility. Yeah. Do they do they require a lot of attention, a lot of upkeep, and a lot? How does it all work? Not really. I mean, you do have to be around. They have to be fed every day, obviously. And you have okay. to fill their water, and you have to lock them in at night so they don't get eaten by uh, coyotes or sure. hawks uh, or raccoons yeah. or whatever. No. But not a lot of day to day. Okay. Now, would it be best to to get them as babies? Yes. Okay. I okay. always say start out with baby chicks because then you know what they're eating and you know that they're growing up healthy and they're not getting any diseases and plus the whole baby stage with kids and you know it's just fun to see them grow. And how fantastic. long do they usually live? They can live 10 or 12 years. Oh my goodness, like a dog. But there you yeah. go. And how many eggs a day? Oh boy. About one a day per chicken. You can figure on, count on. Imagine I mean, right. fresh eggs every single day. I'm seriously contemplating this. That is beautiful. You could also have a side hustle out. selling eggs. <laughs> yeah. Start a side hustle. <laughs> Where would the chicken coop go in my yard? I'm just trying to figure it all out. What Don't tell Vanessa. First? Don't tell Vanessa yet. I'm going to surprise came her. What first? <laughs> the chicken or the egg? There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You were okay. wonderful. You stole the show. You did. Look at them. Upstage yet again. 101 Chicken Keeping Hacks is available now for more information and to watch Lisa along with her chickens on Welcome to My Farm, you can visit FreshEggsDaily.com. That's pretty fantastic. Coming up next, this is fantastic as well. We're answering our viewer questions, including the easiest way to hem pants. I'm going to be paying attention. We'll see you in a bit.